In this video, I'm going to be talking about SEO Studio in TubeBuddy so that you can understand how it can help you get more views by crafting better titles and descriptions for your YouTube videos so that they get found more easily in search, either on YouTube or in Google. So that's what we're talking about today. Uh, let's get straight on into it. What I'm going to do is start from my uh, YouTube studio uh, and then we'll show you how to uh, get to the TubeBuddy SEO Studio, and SEO, by the way, standing for Search Engine Optimization. So basically crafting, as I say, better worded titles and descriptions uh, and indeed tags as well, uh, so that you uh, improve your chances of being, uh, of being found in search. So the way that you get to this, if you click on the little TubeBuddy uh, button at the top to open the TubeBuddy menu, uh, it's down here, this extension tool. So we've looked at Keyword Explorer to actually find out the uh, keywords that you're going to uh, be interested in. Um, and then the SEO Studio is just behind it. Um, you may actually, though, just go straight from Keyword Explorer into SEO Studio. So let me show you that way of actually getting into it because that is kind of the logical flow when you're doing your research for keywords and things like that for your videos. So the first thing is, uh, let's launch Keyword Explorer. Uh, the last video I did was all about this, by the way, the last video on TubeBuddy, so I will leave a link to that in the description. Uh, let's say that I um, just happen to be doing a video on, I don't know, uh, SEO Studio in TubeBuddy. <laughs> so I might wanna search for something like, TubeBuddy SEO Search uh, Studio tool. Um, so if I just do a quick uh, check on that, and uh, it's telling me that that is quite a good score overall for as a keyword. So let's just run with that for the time being. Uh, and if I had done my research and let's say I'd checked everything out and I was happy with this, then I'd come down to this action button down here. And then we've got this option here to optimize in SEO Studio. So that is now the other way into the SEO Studio directly from Keyword Explorer. Clicking on that, that is going to do a couple of things. Uh, first of all, it's going to immediately bring up a, uh, a title and a description, and it's already put the, uh, that title and that description in, uh, basically that keyword, I should say, into the title and description. You can see over here the TubeBuddy SEO score, uh, and we're currently at 60%. And then just down here, it's got some uh, different things that we can actually do. And it's got like a little checklist for us as well, showing us what we've done uh, right and what we haven't done. Um, so the first one is include your target keyword in the title. Well, it's kind of helped us with that because it's already actually put it in there. Uh, next is include 80% of your target keyword in the title. So um, if you didn't have the full amount, at least having some of it in there. Uh, next one is include your target keyword in the first 60 characters of the title. So obviously we've got 100 characters to play with in the title. Uh, so it's just making sure that it is in the front part of it so that basically it's going to be seen. That's the uh, the key here. Uh, so that it's not sort of truncated and somebody search for something like this and then they don't actually see those words in the title. Uh, next is include your target keywords naturally in the title. So at the moment it's basically just saying TubeBuddy SEO studio tool um, well perhaps I could uh, uh, call that a uh, full tutorial or maybe how to use how to use TubeBuddy SEO uh, tool so you see that that's already now um, it's included the um, uh, the tick mark for that one include your target keyword naturally in the uh, in the title uh, and you'll notice that the uh, the score has now increased as well uh, you might even include, include something like full tutorial here, maybe. Um, so uh, if I could spell it, <laughs> I can never spell and type, at the, uh, talk and type at the same time. So that is, uh, that is that one. And then if we come down to here, it says include your target keyword in the first 200 characters of the description. So obviously the descriptions can be uh, up to 5,000 characters. So it's basically saying, make sure it's in this top little, uh, you know, first couple of sentences or whatever. And it also says include partial matches of your target keyword in the description as well. Um, so what I'll do is uh, just by the power of, uh, pausing <laughs> I'll just go and add in some more details here so that you can see what effect that that so what I've done here is I've just written out a paragraph basically and what I've done is I've included partial matches for the uh, the phrase so rather than just TubeBuddy SEO studio tool uh, I have written how to use TubeBuddy SEO studio tool to get more views on YouTube by using SEO search engine optimization we can improve our chances of getting found in search both on YouTube and Google TubeBuddy makes this SEO process easy with this tool and you can access it right from within the YouTube studio so you can see highlighted 
highlighted in dark green is the full uh, the full keyword itself or collection of words, I suppose. Um, but then in these light green is where I've included partial matches, where it's basically the words repeating. Um, so it's basically saying to try and include those sort of partial matches as well as the uh, the full phrase that you're you're using. You'll notice how that has in, then increased the SEO score to ninety five percent. I mean. It's 95%, 95% of what? It's the, the true buddy's gauge of uh, how well optimized it is. So, I mean, it is a totally sort of arbitrary thing. It's not a, uh, uh, a thing that we can compare to uh, necessarily, uh, <laughs> you know, other platforms and things like that. But that is what they are rating it as for, uh, for uh, YouTube. So um, what we can do, though, here is we can also go over to tags. Um, now, with tags, there's a little bit of a uh, sort of dispute about tags, really, in terms of uh, how uh, how relevant they are and if they actually play a role. So I would just like to uh, show you something about tags a little bit later because they do not have as big a role as some people think. However, they're also not totally uh, uh, useless either. <laughs> so there's people are either one way or the other with them, but there is actually some, th some, some point to them. Uh, and one of the use cases for them is to help your video get found if there are common mis- spellings of uh, of things uh, and so what you may want to do is um, go through and just add in some here uh, this is a bit of an obscure one where they haven't actually given me any um, suggested ones but what you may notice as you're using this is that some of the suggestions may be misspellings and there's a reason for that because that is one of the 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 actual reasons that YouTube says you should use them for. So if you're looking in the uh, SEO studio and you see a list of recommended tabs, which will appear just down here, it says, sorry, no suggestions found. However, um, if there are any, then you will see them down here. And there may be some that look misspelled. Those are actually the ones that you want to be thinking about adding in as well. Uh, here it gives you some uh, suggestions. Uh, I've just changed to my wrong scene. <laughs> there we go. Let's get back to that one. There we go. No, wrong again. <laughs> this one. Um, so uh, here you can see the uh, the target keyword um, uh, again, the, the the tool, and then down here we've got how to improve your score. So we've got a couple of things here. Include your exact target keyword as the first tag. Include partial matches of your target keyword include more relevant tags. So uh, that is including those partial matches again, I'll go through and just pause and uh, do all of this, uh, but also include more relevant tags to your specific video. So let me just add in a few more examples to this. So I have added some more tags in there and uh, some with sort of partial matches, full matches, things like that, um, and some with uh, misspellings. As I say, you would see a list down here depending on what you're actually searching for. There may or may not be something down here, uh, but it does say here as well, populate with suggested tags, consider adding only if relevant. So you may get a lot of suggestions. It doesn't mean to add them all in necessarily. Just go and search for some that are relevant. Um, but already you can see 99% uh, uh, score on this one. Uh, I've still got a little red mark here, so include more relevant tags um, so it's having a little bit of difficulty finding something uh, out of these which is specifically relevant to that description if I'd gone and, and crafted a longer description uh, then this would presumably be able to uh, find something or, or acknowledge that some of these were more relevant to the actual uh, description and content. Uh, next step though is the uh, thumbnails. Um, so with the thumbnails, what this is gonna show you is, if you recall from the um, video about the Keyword Explorer, it shows you the top results that have come up. And so this is basically, if you look in here where the thumbnails are, these are all of the other um, uh, videos that have come up with that particular search, that TubeBuddy SEO Studio tool. These are all of the other videos in order of how they would have shown up as well. So this means that uh, you can use this as a bit of a guide when you are uploading your own thumbnail and you can add, uh, basically just drag in any thumbnail. Let me just find uh, the thumbnail for this particular one. Uh, so what I can do is um, I can drag my thumbnail in here. So if I go to upload thumbnail and I will find this one over here. There we go, SEO Studio with my silly face on it. <laughs> and there we've got that all ready now. So we've got our title, we've got our description and we've got our tags as well. So you can uh, click on save draft 
Um, or you can click on next and click on apply it to video and you can actually just apply it to a specific video. I'm just gonna click on that as save draft because I don't have the video ready yet because I'm literally recording it as we speak. <laughs> uh, and you'll see that it has then popped up. You've got in your drafts where that's been applied. So now you can uh, close that one down. And if you were to come into a specific video, let's take this one, which isn't the video that I want to apply it to. Um, but if I had got uh, an upload, so I could come into here and click on SEO Studio. And then what I could do is I could actually apply load from saved draft. So this option here. So when you come into the actual video, you've just uploaded the video. Uh, you can come into here. If you're actually just in the process of uploading it for the first time, this button may well be actually just above the title. But either way, you can come in here, go to the SEO Studio and then load from saved draft. Click on this one uh, and then there we go. TubeBuddy SEO Studio tool uh, is the one that we've just saved. And so I'll just click apply and then that would put in all of the title, the description and the thumbnail and everything like that. So that is how you use the SEO Studio tool. There is uh, just one thing that I wanted to draw your attention to, which is this thing about, uh, about tags. So if we come down to the tags box down at the bottom, um, you can see that this is what YouTube themselves say. <laughs> Above the tags box, we've got this bit of text here and it says, tags can be useful if content in your video is commonly misspelled. Otherwise, tags play a minimal role in helping viewers find your video. So keywords crafted into titles and descriptions, yes, people will find things from that. Um, but these tags in here, as they are saying, play a minimal role in helping viewers find your video. That said, uh, the box is still there. So <laughs> minimal does not mean zero. So definitely as you have the opportunity to add things in there, and this is all about marginal gains, if it makes a tiny little bit of a difference, then uh, as you're going through the SEO studio process, uh, then certainly adding those in is, uh, to my mind, uh, worth doing. But especially in terms of those uh, common misspellings and things like that. Um, so that is the uh, the SEO studio. Now, another thing then, once you have got your title all crafted and you're all ready to uh, to post your video, um, you may not want to just post it immediately because uh, sometimes it takes a while to process and uh, sometimes if you just sort of publish it immediately, um, then you might find that it's only going out in standard def definition when you might have uploaded it in HD or even 4K, that can take a while to process. So there is a benefit to scheduling videos. Um, now you can obviously schedule videos just within YouTube, but TubeBuddy themselves have some advanced scheduling um, options for you as well. Uh, and that's what I'm gonna be covering in this next video that's coming up next. So I'll see you in that video.